Now, waste management has for years proved to be one of the biggest challenges in most cities in the country. Harare has the crown in that regard, albeit for the wrong reasons. The city has been declared the dirtiest in the country with over 2,000 illegal dump sites. Today, the country's leader, President Emerson Mnangagwa, read the riot act to litterbugs, warning them of stiffer penalties. He was speaking at the commissioning of the Pomona Waste Management Project in Harare. The project is expected to transform waste management in the capital city and beyond. Approximately 18 kilometers northeast of the central business district of the city lies Pomona Dam site. The landfill used to be a source of discomfort for residents and surrounding areas. Unbearable stench, fire breakouts, which emitted huge plumes of smoke, were commonplace. This was posing a public health threat in the northern suburbs. But all this is now in the past. The new look landfill was commissioned today by President Emerson Nangagwa and the country's leader laid down the law for litterbugs. Let us remain conscious of risks associated with waste and pollution. These include those relating to the health of communities, degradation of the natural ecosystem, threats to food security and climate change. As such, highly efficient waste collection practices, environmental control systems, and appropriate legislation, including the bylaws by the city, must be enforced across our local authorities. Pomona dam site was taken over by Geo Pomona Waste Management in 2022. The waste management company has since turned away from archaic waste management methods. Once and slightly the dam site now has a fresh new look. The dam site, which is still under construction, also answers in part the country's power needs. It is therefore commendable that under the build on operate and transfer joint venture model, the project will see the construction of a waste to energy plant which will produce a maximum of 22 megawatts of electricity. Saka Kanamagetsa no vapa Tsunayangairi pana azombo sara na no vapa wange Transformation of the dam site now 75% complete the Geopomona company plan connects with the government's objective of establishing smart cities across the country. Modern waste management is one of the main anchors of government's aspirations of a middle-income economy by 2030. Modernization of our towns and cities into a world-class standards. I have no doubt that such mega projects will give us the impetus to accelerate towards Vision 2030 in support of the President's quest of an empowered upper middle income society. Geo Pomona Waste Management Company Chief Executive Dalesh Nguaya said the project was moving according to the initial plan. The project is in its second year of construction. The Pomona site was in a deplorable state. Today, we have transformed this place to be potentially one of Africa's best waste management sites. <laughs> All of this work directed by inspired by the need to create clean, safe environment in the fight against health hazards. According to Geopomona Waste Management, the project has so far created employment for at least 188 people. The project has moved a gear up with landscaping for a 22,000 square meter area and road tiring already done while landfill encapsulation is on schedule. I'm Stachisiro Kwaza for ZTM Prime.